Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Linux commands. In Linux systems, it may be necessary to switch between directories via the terminal. In such cases, writing an entire directory each time reduces usability. That's why we use directory aliases. Dot represents current directory. Dot dot represents parent directory. Tilde represents home directory for the current user. Slash represents the topmost root directory. Our another term is piping. It is used to manage and direct the inputs and outputs that can be described as standard in and standard out. This character is used to give the output of an input as an input to another process. For example, ls grep dash e a0. In this case, the output of command ls becomes an input for grab command. That's clear. This character outputs an input and overwrites a file. For example, echo write.txt enter ls cat write.txt xd xd clear this sign outputs an input and writes it to the end of a file for example echo and write.txt As you see, it's added at the end of the file. But this sign did override it. Another special character is wildcard. If there is more than one option in the value to be used, it is used to represent all these values. For example, ls star.txt. This will list all files ending with .txt. Next topic is the Linux terminal's autocomplete function. When you write a command, file name or directory name, you can press tab and see possible commands. For example, write tcp tab. If you want to traverse in these results, keep pressing tabs. TCP dump, enter for example. If there is no more than one possible command, it will directly complete the command. Quit operations. You may encounter a command or a process that somehow enters a loop. In such cases, you can use stop signals such as Ctrl C, exit, Q to exit these processes in the bash environment. Comments. First comment is man. Specify a command after it. Then it displays the manual page. Man ls Q man cp stands for copy. As you see, this is the manual page. You can press enter and go to the bottom of the page. Q. Second comment is ls. It lists the contents of the directory you are in or defined as a parameter. This displays items in the current directory we are in. ls var. This displays items in the specified directory ls dash ls this command lists items along with their size permissions links owner group size timestamps and names to view hidden files ls dash ls a hidden files starts with dot and they aren't displayed in normal outputs 
If you want to learn much more detailed info, type ls dash dash help. This works for all commands. Next command is cp, in other words, copy. It is used to copy a file or directory from one place to another. To copy a file with a new name, cp a0 tab desktop tab to autocomplete, enter. Now you can see the a0.txt. To copy a folder with all the files in it, cp r move this folder. I have a folder named like this and desktop. Next command is cd. It is used to navigate between directories. cd dot dot. We go to the parent directory. cd slash. We go to the root directory. Next command is me. It is used to move a file or folder from one location to another location. It can also be used to change the file or folder name. At first, let's go to the, our previous directory. Okay. Again, to change a file or folder name, move a0.txt a9.txt ls as you see we can see a0.txt instead we see a9 we changed its name to move a folder to another location with a different name let's write ls again we want to move this folder to the desktop and also we want to change its name so write move go go desktop and changed. Enter. As you see, we have changed its folder name. And we also moved it. Our next command is rm command. Let's write ls again. This command is used to delete a file or folder. To delete a folder, remove dash r delete me. Dash R flag allows us to delete all items inside that directory recursively. To delete a file, remove a4.txt. Clear. Next command is pwd, abbreviation for print working directory. And the another one, cat. It is used to print the contents of a file to the screen cat a2.txt cat a3.txt to print multiple files at the same time cat a2.txt a3.txt as you see we have merged them let's clear the screen to merge the contents of two files into another file cat a2, A3, this character, merge.txt. Cat, merge.txt. Yes. Next command is mkdir. It is an abbreviation for make directory. To create a directory, type makedir dir 1 ls here you can create more than one directories in one command make dir dir 2 dir 3 ls 2 and 3 to create nested directories make dir dash p top middle and down ls dash ls r to print the directory items recursively and write top enter 
as you can see, top, middle, top, middle, down, top, middle, down, item number zero. ID command gives information about the privileges of the user running the command on the system and the groups he or she belongs to. ID ID root ID Kali Who am I? prints our username which is Kali at the moment. The who command shows the users who are logged in to the system. Kali and learn with me. These are the usernames. The W command shows the users who are logged on to the system and what they are doing. Uname-a command prints system information to the screen. It is Linux Kali 6.1.0 kernel version and some other details. This video is over. See you on another video.